Hey there, I'm in Smith's toy store and I've come to pick up some Corpse Ultra Elite Soldiers. I've come here for me and my friend really because a friend told me about these these guys. So um I thought I'll come and um, see what I got here. I actually like this this place better than Toys R Us. A lot cheaper too. So um I'll get some of these guys and I'll um, make a video and show you what I got. I've got a load of combat stuff. Look at this. Pound, I don't know if you can see that. This is pretty cool. A tenor. Oh, I didn't know there was that more figures down here. No, I'm going to take them all out and see what they've got. All the same dude. So. <clears throat> Loads of small little goods too. Hello. Right. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Right. I'm gonna get this as well. Okay. Up next, the unboxings. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. As you've just seen, I've just come back from Smith's Toy Store. And this is what I got. Um, my friend told me about these figures. Um, so I went to pick them up. This is uh, one of them. There's only three in, in the uh, in the set. So um, they had loads of stock there. So I picked up all three. Um, the price is only $5.99. And um, if you've been watching my videos, you know that when I was in the States, I picked up some World Peacekeepers and I just thought these looked very similar. The World Peacekeepers were quite good quality figures with quite a lot of accessories. Um, and they were like $13, um, which is like, the pound is really crap at the moment. So it was like £10, I, I guess. But these are only five ninety nine. Um what it says on um, on here is a fully articulated 12 inch poseable figure um, I like the, the artwork on the boxes pretty cool and uh, this basically is what you get a 12 inch army military soldier dude this one's quite cool because he came with a gas mask let's take it off i really like his expression on his face it's quite cool he's quite well made as for articulation the articulation isn't that brilliant for a start there's none in the elbow so his arm can go up and down and out and his wrists twist but it's very limited for holding um, weapons and that so as for it says on the box it's kind of uh, deceitful because it's not fully articulated I guess the arm looks more realistic because there's no joint there but and then as for the legs they only bend so far if I show you the World Peacekeeper, which I've got one here, his arms fully bend right up, his legs fully articulate. See the difference? Difference is that only goes that far. This one can bend right back. Um, I'd rather pay the £5 extra to have full articulation, doesn't matter, 
at the end of the day. Um, they still come with quite a lot of accessories. He came with this vest with bullets on it, a radio and a pouch. And you can see he's wearing army camo trousers. Like I said, I really like his expression. I like when they put expressions on figures. The boots are a bit, a bit wide. Um, but not fantastic, but they're okay. Um, as I showed you a bit before, he came with a gas mask, a helmet, this really nice gun. Um, it's got the, the clip that comes in and out, and this can, can go in. And this comes out as well. So it's quite a nice gun. It comes with an extra mag round, which is here, and a pistol. I will be painting them up to make them look a little bit more realistic, but at the end of the day, this figure was $5.99, so I guess can't expect too much. Then, I haven't opened these yet. The other one in the line, if you want to see what it's like, I'll show you quickly. First time I'm getting him out too. So this is a figure. Different face, different dude. Again, no articulation in the elbow. And limited articulation in the leg. So they're all the same body, obviously. Um... Seems to have other same boots. Um, yep, exactly the same boot. Different camo um, outfit. The one of the neck joins is not too bad, I guess. Could have had a bit of a longer neck, but it's okay. The hands are fixed in what they are. Pistol grip hand and that. And um, what I liked about this one is that everything still takes down he had this massive gun here look at that with the bullets and a stand yeah, that's pretty cool like i said keep going about the price 5.99 for that i mean look on ebay just for a gun how much they cost you've got this thing, whatever it is, I suppose it goes in the gun. You got grenades, four grenades. So I've just dropped something. Um, oh, pouch that goes on his belt, probably. A water bottle and another grenade and whatever this round thing is, it might go on his gun and a radio there. So that is a nice bit of. Uh, Kit, quite a lot of accessories. Um, that was the one I just showed you. Yeah, that bit goes on top of the gun. And oh, that was that container thing was to hold all the grenades. So, um, so yeah, that was quite a nice set. And then I'll quickly open the next set. This, guy, this dude's got quite a nice gun as well. Again, it's a different figure with a different uh, uniform on. He's got like a goatee beard. Same boots, same hands, same body, same articulation. So this dude's got like, what is that, night vision? You've got a helmet. You've got binoculars. And he's got a really nice gun as well. Look at that, it's quite heavy. That is a really nice gun. It's such a almost as long as he is. It's got a radio, this rocket launcher thing here with rockets and a pistol. So he's quite a nice set to have as well. While I was there, I also picked these up because I had some gills in it. So I thought that would be pretty cool for $4.99. Uh, six inch figures. So about the reflection. Hopefully you can see that. Again, I love the artwork on the box. This one comes with the bike. Even these for um, 
four ninety nine. Three figures and a bike in a vehicle. You know, it's pretty good. It shows you uh, who they all are at the back. I like her. She's got my hairstyle. <laughs> and it shows you their names and everything. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I must have them all because I picked nine up. So that's the first set. Then I picked up this set. I like they were cheeky with these because if you look closely, the first one and the last one, you can see that they're they got joints in their arms and they, they fully articulate. It seems the middle one is fixed and his legs or his arms don't articulate so he stays in that position always so they've been quite cheeky with that I guess to make an articulated figure uh, cost them more money than to make a fixed one and they've kind, they've kind of um, bundled two that articulate and one that is just a, just like a, a figure as it moves but it's still a cool figure I like how he is and everything and it comes with that vehicle whatever that is the curse it says on it um, again at the back it's a different shows you different shows you different characters um, and then I've got this one here again she's got my hairstyle <laughs> well that was pretty cool and pretty cool bike with weapons and at the back Really cool artwork again with who they are. So I think for four ninety nine, that was a really good deal. And um, I did mention that this series of the twelve inch and the sixteen inch are called the Corpse Elite. So the ones in America that do fully articulate are called World Peacekeepers. And these ones are corpse. Are oh, the twelve inch one? It says the corpse ultra elite, and on the six inch ones, it just says the corpse elite. Um, and I'll just put together on the left here is the um, the the world peacekeeper and on the right is the one that I just got now from Smith so quite similar not much of a difference apart from the arms and the articulation apart from that everything else is pretty similar could mix and match them and make a quite a good army Keep a watch guys, I've got more figures coming up. Thanks for watching. Peace.